guys, come with me to Little. I always love seeing what they have um, in the plenty section. It changes every week, and I think this week is a good one according to their flyer. So come with me, I'll show all the goodies. The entrance, and I wanted to show you the plants they have here. Um, some geranium, and that one's out of its place, so I really need to find the price somewhere else. But they do have some grapes. $9.99 and they have some mixed herbs like tomatoes, strawberries, sage and they have some blueberries guys I'm really excited to see blueberries I bought last year from this store um, some blackberries and I gotta show you my plant how it looks now and they have the blueberries which I really want to add to my collection blueberries these do good and they are resistant to the cold. I mean, they die back, but they come back. And it says here, cold hardiness to zone five. And they have grapes. I think I see for that color, grapes. So these are $9.99. And now they also have raspberries, $9.99. Again, these are cold hardy. They have strawberries. Now strawberries, they don't come back, do they? I've had strawberries. Let me see. Cold hardiness on four. Okay. So, I love plants that give me food too. I want to work on improved, getting more outdoor plants to give me food. <laughs> so, I'll take you guys along if you're interested. And right over here, they have some lavender. For $7.99. Look at this beauty. This looks like the Primavera lavender that I bought the other day. The flower looks similar. It's just not completely flowered right now, but I love the one I have. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, $79 is a great price. Okay, so they also have these here for $4.99. They have some Chinese money trees for $8.99, some beautiful orchids, and the orchids are $14.99. They have some calancholi, which are these, for $5.99 in the pot. And then they also have some spring bulbs for $3.99. Not bad. And then they have the lilac bulbs, $8.99. Gladiolus. So, yep. Yeah. If you're into gardening things, then this is the time to come to Little Lytle. They have, in the entrance, they have a lot of, they have plants and I'll have to go back and reward that. Right now we have some mosaic, mosaic lilies for $5.99. So from what I know of, these come back, right, every year? I think these are really easy to take care of. I had these some years ago and I actually like that color. A, a, a co-worker of mine was recommending these because they're so easy to take care of. And they have calla lilies. That one says annual. They have these. Um, doesn't have. It says Easter lily. Um, this one says ascetic lily. I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce it today for some reason. And then right over here they have uh, some more tulips, which are always beautiful. And I think these are the daffodils. Okay, so really, really pretty, and I'm surprised how much they have in their gardening section right now. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys in case you're working on your outside patio like I am. A lot of times you need these supplies, so if you want to have a little outdoor uh, plants. Uh, I'll show you what, it's ha what I'm looking at that I'm really like, wow. First storage box for $49.99. I have one of these boxes. I want to say I bought it either here or Aldi. And um, 50 bucks is usually the best that I have found for this size. As you can see there, the storage and how many gallons, the 74 gallons. They're backwards, but it's 74 gallons, just so you can compare sizes. And then they have, in their new offers, you know, these are gold change week by week. They have a greenhouse. And this greenhouse is going for $59.99, okay? So let's look at the size. It says four shelves, durable metal construction with tear resistant mesh cover. And speaking of greenhouses, I gotta give you guys an update on my greenhouse. And it's not a very good story. 
So now after having that experience with my greenhouse where it actually the metal frame bent after a storm, I'm kind of wondering how strong are these, right? Now I'd be more suspicious about just ordering any of them or buying any of them because you want to make sure the metal frame is very, very strong if you're going to have it outdoors so it can resist storms. That's just my little feedback there. Maybe I'll insert a little clip at the end of this video where I'll show you what happened to my greenhouse. And um, here they have some multi-tier planters that are flying off the shelves. And let me show you how they look. It's pretty cool. Sorry, okay, get the... So this is how they work. So from here I can see you can get like four plants and I can imagine cascading plants and I like the way it looks from far. I think you won't be able to tell it's made out of plastic. It looks more as if it was cement. So that's that. And then right over here they have some tree pruners for $16.99. Let's see, I'm gonna stick to the gardening stuff. Oh, but back over here, this just ran out, which is a patio furniture cover. That's actually why I walked into this store because this was $9.99 and I thought that was, I love the fact that it was clear. I do like the fact that I can see through it. They had the chair one and had the table one. These sales started yesterday, Wednesday, today's Thursday and they are gone. So I'm going to try to hopefully post this video ASAP so you guys can know that this is going on in case you guys want to catch this deal. I think it's a good deal compared to what you can find. Uh, maybe even what I had searched in Amazon. So I'm actually going to get this and I'm going to get it to protect my bench and two tables because they didn't have the individual chair ones. So I'm going to use a big round one to, to get all my chair, my two chairs and my bench together when there's going to be a storm or when there's a lot of pollen to protect it. For 10 bucks, I think it's great. I'm not spending too much money. So here, what do we see? Oh, LED mosquito control plug-in light. Huh, not sure. $4.99. Wouldn't hurt to try it, right? We need all the help we can get against mosquitoes. That's what I believe. <laughs> okay, um, solar power. So that way you guys can reclaim your outdoors. I have something very very good at my house it's pretty strong it's helping us out but i would say why not have a few more right okay so solar power rodent repellent spike what um what rodents are you trying to repel from your garden so they won't come and eat your plants i guess that's, that's what's going on here did not know these existed guys 9.99 that's cool and then right over here, weed barrier, landscape fabric, $3.99, soft wire tire, tie, excuse me. So a lot of different little things like this. Little clips, wire. They have these nice recycle bags, $4.99. And they have these little nice men's t-shirts for $4.99 and I'm really liking this this one it says every day is earth day and this one oh this one's oh no are you kidding me $4.99 ladies t-shirt look what it says guys let's open one up I'm taking one of these babies oh I think this is my size too it says plant mom guys for $4.99 awesome 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 fine comfy it's a 60 percent cotton 40 percent polyester oh so cute okay they have some socks what is this about is this i think this is all about earth day interesting very cute okay 199 adult socks Okay, so I think I'm going to skip over here. Right here we see a lawnmower. What is it? I think. For 149 cordless lawnmower. Okay. They have some ladies work pants. I think this is good when you're working out in your garden. It feels good. $12.99. Cargo work shorts. Nice to work outside in your garden or working. Yes. 
any kind of other work that you require better clothing. Okay, what do we have? Telescopic head trimmer, $59.99. Coreless head trimmer, $29.99. Grass trimmer, $24.99. Multi-service electric brush, $39.99. Okay, pressure washer, $79.99. Who knew? Pressure washer, okay. And they have this, like a little greenhouse, I'm gonna say. This is cold frame greenhouse, $29.99. So why is it a cold frame? Let's see, what is this? It protects you from the cold? It says weatherproof. Yeah, it protects from the cold and UV resistant. Wow. They have one left for $29.99. Let's see if I can get you guys a better view. Okay. You wanna keep your garden going in the winter? Why not? It seems small enough. Like, I really wonder. I'm going to have to read more details on it. I guess it's open. Very interesting. Okay, so it says another garden storage park for $29.99. This is cool. Could be to um, store, like, your soil and stuff. Let's see what else. Mist stand. Stand. Is this it? Yeah, mist stand. For $12.99. They have these shades for $17.99 and uh, this nine pocket raised herb garden, Manetto wood, it seems like. That is really, really pretty. Very cute. 50 bucks. I want one of these guys, but I'm hoping. <laughs> um, I've had sometimes um, companies reach out to me and they want me to try things for them. So I've had some offers, but not a wood one yet. If anybody out there wants me to review one for you guys, or you want to send it to me in exchange for a review, let me know. We we'll, can talk about it. Okay, so this is also something interesting. Indoor growing system with LED lights. Very interesting. So you put water here and it, then it distributes it. This is very nice, $39.99. I like it a lot. Okay, so bamboo solar LED torch huh 20 bucks this can look really cute ah, by the pool and there's solar uh, pruning saw and then they also have some patio cushion and also to store your umbrella uh, coverings for $6.99 not a bad price uh, pole chainsaw. Wow, they have all kinds of stuff. Like I'm telling you, this is the time to get your gardening stuff. Sea tray set, $6.99. Garden saw, $4.99. They also have these um, pots made out of something biodegradable. And they are $2.99. Hmm, not bad at all. Some small ones. These are the plastic ones, $2.99. And what's this? Strawberry grow bags. I like this. These are $9.99. Very nice. So, and then some shoes if you need some for your garden. Okay, I'll show you another section just a bit. Guys, okay, so I did get a raspberry tree and I had to come a few days ago. When was it? I don't know, but they had the blueberries and I had gotten two already of the blueberries. So I'll keep you posted if they give me blueberries and when, maybe next year. That's what I'm thinking. Um, and I did get the patio seat covering and I'll use it in my back patio and a pat back patio renovation video is coming soon too. Um, I guess that's it. And some clearance roses. So beautiful. Well, I'll leave you with this and I'll insert that clip of the greenhouse. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, thank you for um, all your support. It means a lot. Bye. Guys, unfortunately, this is how my greenhouse is looking. A very unfortunate, <laughs> unfortunate um, result because it, maybe after installing it within a month, maybe, we had a stormy night and this is what happened the next morning um, and it's basically unsolvable or unsalvageable 
because look what happened we did not have a tornado by the way or a hurricane it was just a night with some wind and you guys if you guys saw the video when i set it up you saw how i set it up according to the instructions i even reinforced it we reinforced it with those pieces of wood on the sides you know the flap was kind of coming out and we put those woods on the side just to even hold it in place even more um and the wind bent it and broke it in many places um let me find the other spots so that's broken it's broken in so many spots that um i'm very disappointed with the material that this metal is made from because i just feel like we all are gonna get winds and i t contacted the company and they basically said that they were sorry and if i at first they said do you want to buy more parts i was like no and then they and i told them you know i made a video on this and it's a terrible product <laughs> i'm very disappointed and they basically said and i said i cannot recommend it and they basically said oh we'll sell you new parts but i said what's the point of putting new parts if this is going to happen because we're going to have more wind <laughs> so i'm the only thing that i'm happy about is that i did not have many plants in there because i was testing it out it was winter i still didn't trust it and i also wanted to know how to heat it and i had not invested in trying to do some kind of heating system out here so that but imagine if i would have had precious plants in there that would have been a loss of a lot of money so i know other people have reviewed other products of the quick tent and there's one that is they, they, there's one that says that it's heavy duty and that's not the one I chose. I wish I would have chosen the heavy duty one. The heavy duty one had um, the, the, the framing looks more like a silver color, like the metal color. And I know I've seen other people have videos how great it is and they've had it over a year and no issues. But this one, at this point, this model, this is what's happened to me. So I just wanted to be honest and give you a little update on what's going on. So. <sighs> Since this failed, my next thing is to build one. What do you think about that? I'm excited about that. So I'm taking that outside plastic away. And now we can see better how many pieces the metal frame broke. It's broke there. It's broke there. It's broke there. Uh, broke there. Oh. That's not broke, or is it? Or is it broke? I don't know now. That one's broke. But basically, um, I contacted the company and I, I told them that basically I was concerned, and that you know, they had a, basically gifted me this greenhouse. Good thing that I didn't have to pay for it. If not, my heart would be very, very distraught. But that I actually had made a video and that I was concerned with the quality of the product and I wanted to give them feedback because I wanted them to know they need to improve in the metal railing of this product. It was super cute. But the metal frame, I mean, no, I don't think nobody's going to be happy. <laughs> so um, they, they took took it in. They said the, the constr you know constructive criticism and they said that basically they were going to work on it. So, yeah. So here we can see what plants I had in here I had some sedums and what's so funny is that I there's still like this through the winter they've been in here and uh, this thing had fallen and honestly we had not gotten to taking it off yet and um, this, I think the sedums are going to come back alive I had a bromeliad here and um, this is a lemon lime philodendron oh I miss this plant I need to um I need to maybe get one at some point Okay guys, so I just wanted to let you know what happened here.